Okay, so you won't believe this, but I actually do have good news about the kittens this time. Okay, maybe a little bit of bad news. So after the white one died, the tabby soon followed the following day. Um, poor little thingy fought to the very end. I mean, this guy just did not want to give up. But he eventually succumbed. But the black one, guys, the, he, he is... I can't even get over how much the black one had just switched from being dying to just living. Now, this isn't the same as it was with that newborn. This is totally different. I was waiting. The same day that the tabby kitten died, I was waiting for that poor kitten to die. I was up here all day, um, keeping Tammy company, making sure she was okay. Um, just keeping an eye on everything, basically. And I could see him getting worse. I mean, his his belly had had was still very bloated. He had stopped meowing altogether, like no meows, not a sound. He'd have these silent meows where he'd open his mouth and no sound would come out. The poor thing. But then the following day, he still didn't die, and I was just like, and then he started getting his voice back. But I thought, oh, it's probably because he's still in pain. And I was like, what the hell is going on here? Like, the universe hates this kitten. The universe loves this kitten. It's been however day, however many days later, I actually don't remember the last time I put a video. I didn't check before I put, you know, started recording this. The bloating is gone. He's meowing at a normal level of a kitten who likes to complain whenever he's hungry. He's suckling on his mum's teeth. It's as if he was never ill. I know so many kittens have died and it's so sad, but I am so over the moon. That one survived. That one survived. And Tammy's spirits have gone through the roof. And when I say I actually forgot how friendly my cat is until she started going back to herself again today and yesterday. I forgot that she was a friendly cat. That's how down and dumb she's been the past couple of weeks. That's how upset and tired through the pregnancy and how depressed she was then after the pregnancy. I totally forgot that she was actually a friendly cat who purred on at the slightest touch. I forgot that she was that kind of cat until yesterday. I'm just so happy for Tammy for this. I'm so happy that she has a baby because she seems to be so happy right now. And um, she's still very, she's very protective of this kitten. Like, I know cats are normally protective of their kittens, but she... Like, sometimes she won't even let me near it, which is, you know, if you know how this cat was with me, you'd be like, what? But anyway, I'm going to show you him now because he is a trooper. Okay, there he is now. Um, he's feeding, as you can see. He's suckling on his mommy. He was just meowing. You just missed it. It's very, very cute. And Tammy is happy again. Aren't you, Tammy? Aren't you, kitty? Where? Oh, too bad I can't see him. But I don't want to move. Whenever he's feeding, I like to leave him alone because, you know, there was a full day there where he wasn't eating anything because he was, you know, dying. That's what you do. You don't eat. So, yeah. So that's my good news. And hopefully I'll be able to actually start acting like a normal human being now. You know, because the last few days, last couple of weeks, last week... God, how long has it been now since the kitten started getting very sick? I don't even remember, honestly. I've been so upset and so wrapped around this shit that I'm just... A wave of relief just has just washed over me with this kitten. Like, so happy about this kitten. But yeah, I just thought I'd update you with the good news. That um, the other ones have gone over the Rainbow Bridge, but at least one is still with us. And one is still just fine. <laughs> he just fought and won. So he's just lucky, I guess. Anyway, so long.